Yeah, beyond that, I don't know really what's going down. But. All right, into winners finals between Sorry Tag and Sir Spud. Sorry Tag decided to go with the Croagunk. Sir Spud with his classic Gengar. Sir Spud being the number one Gengar in the United States right now is definitely a force to be ready. We'll see how Sorry Tag fares today. Able to land the drop kick. He looks like he just dropped his block. This might be a uh, Animation be in there. They will land the Astonish to interrupt an approach. Shadow Punch not carrying through. He's able to get essentially some empty hop uh, juice, if you will. Drops a combo. They will land the Astonish. Sir Spud's going to be able to combo off of that. They will land a homing attack on the retreat. The Thief, unfortunately, falling prey to some iframes, he's gonna be able to get a grab and drain some synergy out. Tries to go for the homing attack, unfortunately, there was enough time for Sorry Tag to react with counter. Goes for the far fetch setup, not able to interrupt anything. Bomb goes off. Get a combo started. Imagine the small body creatures for Gengar are a little hard to have combos roll, so... I mean, it's also certain bodies. Practice like crazy. Sartag does have a free synergy gauge, but he's still... Okay, I guess he is going to use it here in the last 10 seconds. Let's go for a Thief. Rebar, unfortunately, missed, but... Uh, Sir Spot tried to go for a grab, and I guess Sorry Tag had enough in lag to still hop up and burst punish. They land the kick. Oh, bop him out of the air, get a combo started. Unfortunately, it did a bit of a mid air cross up on accident, so it dropped the combo. Like the tornado does track regardless of your position, so we're astonished. Able to dash in and grab, drain that synergy away. Tries to go for a home attack. Get blocked. Is gonna drain some synergy thanks to the guard break. He's gonna work to get that back. Able to get the uh, charge X Oki. After time and time again, you cannot do anything against that freaking Oki except for uh, block. You have to block. Nothing else works. It's sad. But uh, Shadow Punching just repeatedly seemingly worked as it caught him, popped him up on the wall, and allowed him to confirm another Shadow Punch for the kill. Bops out of air, and that defense down. It doesn't last long, though, which is... Uh, yeah. Let's go for a thief on block is going to be punished. Drain some of that synergy away. Get that attack down on him. Tornado's gonna bop him out of air. Try to get the Oki. Let's go for a grab, unfortunately. A little misspaced. Tornado's gonna catch. It's the lasting hitboxes of attacks that really can screw up the Gengar. Sorry, Tag's gonna activate his synergy. Is he able to dash through it? Oh, well, no, okay. So that did not work out for Sorry Tag, unfortunately. This is gonna be rage boosted, too. This is gonna hurt. Oh my gosh, alright. Alright, so Krogonk not have an opportunity for his burst. Able to land the homing attack, Mega Gengar being the beast that it is. Go ahead and confirm the kill. So Sir Spot taken in game one. Into game two here, looks like no changes. Cops is 
block against the homing attack. Probably expected to charge. Ooh, gets the rebar. Five frame, get a combo started. Get a rebar, and it is going to land. That does carry for quite some time. We're all helping him out a little bit with that, though. Goes for the safe version. Goes for a kick, and sorry, Tag. Falling again to that. Grogunk using Grogunk support. That would never happen. Land a combo and finish it off. Yes, he can. A lot of scaling not working in his favor there, but still able to confirm the kill. Rebar is going to occur, but not land. So attack, however, able to get his own attack again. Dash out of the bomb. Land the uh, Astonish into a bit of a combo there. Combo there. Goes back for the uh, phase shift, put it in the field. Not sure the CSP of that combo, but it seems to be uh, decently high. All right, Rebar is not going to catch him. Actually. But he's going to activate Mega Gengar. And this works. There goes for the first attack, and that is going to land. As he catches him in the support call animation. And down at 26. Goes for the Rebar. Able to dash out of the way, and the projectile actually disappears because of exhaust. Able to get him with that quick side projectile. So Sir Spud taking uh, game two. Moving into game three. Use your Pokemon. Time to pick a support set. What do you want to do for your cheer skill? into game three here. Sorry, Tech, switching to the Mewtwo. Gonna get his counter off in time against that homing attack. It snuffs me out a lot. He goes for a CDC grab. Another grab. Able to punish that on block. Get some synergy away. And not able to punish the uh, confusion. It's odd because I thought he went for the right option. Puddle able to avoid counterattack. Curse. Sorry, I call it Puddle. Yo, all right, nice, nice crouch there. That's hyper beam. Able to see the tactic. Snuff out the counter that time. We'll hop up in the air in time to avoid the grab, get a combo started. So crit too, so we're gonna see some decent damage here. Able to anti-air him. Homing attack is unique because it does avoid projectiles. Land the Shadow Punch still. A little early on the Oki. 
Good iframes there, avoiding the projectile completely. Grab against a grip. Sir so Spud's gonna go ahead and activate uh, Synergy. Goes for the homing attack, trying to find an opportunity. He will land his counter attack against Sorry Tax homing. Oh, all right, lasting through the counter. Wake up Side Strike. Very risky to go for. Throws out Reshram, and it's going to land. There's no opportunity block that. Could have off that. But able to land the laser in time. So Sir Spot is going to take winner's finals 3-0. Sorry, Tag Moon, into losers. Alright, and up